Today we're giving you a reason to get amped. In our studios is one of the most talented and innovative musicians on the international music scene. Prepare to be transported to Harmonica Heaven by Frederick Yane. Washington Full Circle starts right now. And welcome to Washington Full Circle. I'm Furman Patterson. Today's guest is a French-born harmonica player who's made DC his home and the world his stage. He's toured with Prince, Stevie Wonder, John Legend, and Erica Badu, easily jamming between jazz, R&B, gospel, and hip hop. The name of his album is best describes his talent, blowing your mind with every key. He's harmonica virtuoso, Frederick Yane. Thank you so much for stopping in. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Long time no see. Yes, yes. <laughs> we we uh, met some years ago and had you on the show, and it's fantastic to have you back. It's good to be back. Thank you. Now, for those who didn't see you the first time around, uh, e explain this French accent. You were born <laughs> in, in France? <laughs> I was born in Normandy, uh, born and raised in France, and uh, I came to Washington, D.C. Uh, a little bit over 10 years ago. So we claimed you. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess there's still a little residue of the French accent uh, when I speak. I'll say, I'll <laughs> say. Now, w what made you pick up the harmonica uh, some years ago? Well, I guess the harmonica picked me, really. Um, I wanted to be a drummer, and uh, I got fired from a lot of gigs trying to lead as a drummer. And I put all my frustration in something that was a lot easier to carry, inexpensive. And uh, I grew up with asthma as well, so it was a way to, uh, you know, focus on my, uh, on my breathing a little bit more. And the more I played it, the better my life got, so it was an easy choice. Now, did, uh, did a doctor prescribe uh, using a music, doing this type of exercise, or did you just instinctively pick You up? know doctors would prescribe medication. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they make a living. No, really, I, I was carrying an inhaler in my, in my pocket and, uh, and a harmonica at the time where I was really, really practicing hard on the instrument up to eight or 10 hours a day. And the more I practiced, the, the better my breathing got and the more I got away from, uh, the further I got away from the inhaler. Mm -hmm. So it really was a transition period where, you know, I was leaving the inhaler, inhaler at home and carrying the harmonica all the time. And now, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's helping me uh, stay healthy. And you're actually sharing that information with kids. You do a lot of workshops uh, around the world, really. Tell us about the workshops and the master classes. So what we're trying to do with the workshops is uh, um, educate kids to um, basically see a little bit further than what is in front of them. Mm -hmm. In other words, if they can expand their, their mind, then whatever they want to do will follow. And in my case, it's the harp. So if I free my mind, my harp will follow. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So the idea is to do the same thing with kids, is to um, mm -hmm. educate them and show them that, you know, the limitations are in the mind and not in the instruments they are playing, mm -hmm. whatever that instrument is. So that's what we do when we, are, uh, when we go around the country and where we perform, you know, uh, whether I tour with Stevie or, or anybody else uh -huh. for that matter. Uh, on our days off, we try to go to, you know, performing art schools or uh, after school programs or high schools in general and uh, have this connection with the kids and uh, make sure that we leave uh, that message behind us. And that's called giving back. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're, they're giving to us as well. So it's an exchange. It's a phenomenal, right. it's a phenomenal experience. Yeah. Now you talk about touring, You're touring with Stevie Wonder, and that's, that's big. <laughs> and you've, you've done it quite a lot. Tell us about this recent tour. So Stevie Wonder recorded an album that changed so many people's lives, uh, Songs in the Key of Life. And he, oh, when he no recorded it 40 years ago, he was such already a superstar that he never got the opportunity to tour it. Mm -hmm. So for the 40th anniversary, he decided to you know, enjoy himself and treat himself with uh, just about a 35 pieces band. Wow. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's magnificent. And literally when you come to the, uh, to the show, it feels like the needle drops on the record and you're listening to the entire album and it's, you know, in its full length 
but oh it's performed man. for you live uh, with you know two drummers, two two percussion players, a ten piece orchestra, a ten piece choir, and for a few of these songs, he needed a harmonica player. To that's give where him, you come in. That's where he <laughs> called me to the rescue, I guess. <laughs> now, in addition to Stevie, you also toured, as I said, with, with Prince. That's true. Um, yeah. What was it like playing with uh, with the one with no name? Well, it was uh, it was phenomenal. It was always you when you perform with him. You always have to be ready to the uh, to deliver uh, the unexpected. <laughs> uh, he's very spontaneous. He's a he's a tremendous talent, of course. And he uh, he always uh, uses you in a in a way that you don't really uh, uh, pr pr portray yourself. So mm -hmm. for that matter, so it, again, he forces you to expand the way you think about things and the way you sometimes think about yourself. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal experience. Yeah, and I also read that you were uh, good pals with uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, which is an unusual uh, <laughs> pairing. How did that happen? That friendship. Well, Dave Chappelle is from D.C. originally. Mm -hmm. he, he, uh, he always had one foot in D.C. and one foot in Ohio. So that's, that's both of those states actually uh, have, a, we have a, this mutual connection. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, musicians love com comedy <laughs> and comedians love music. Dave Chappelle actually plays the piano and he's a huge music lover. So here again, uh, that, that's another, uh, another tie between, between both of our personalities. Mm -hmm. And we started this, uh, this amazing project together called the Juke Joint, <laughs> where basically- I like the sound of that. It's, it's a <laughs> phenomenal experience. You have to come to the next one, uh, <laughs> next <laughs> time we put one together. It's always spontaneous. We do it in, uh, in places that are, are and traditional music venues, uh -huh. uh, cell phones are banned, ah. so we can have an, a, a, a party in the, in the, in the <laughs> intimacy of, uh, there, yes. There you go, there you go. It's <laughs> very <laughs> private. Hold, the, hold on, we got lots <laughs> more to talk about. Don't go away, we'll be back with more of the man who's performed with some of the world's greatest music legends, Frederick Yane. And welcome back to Washington Full Circle. As his good friend, comedian Dave Chappelle said, I didn't even know I liked the harmonica until I met this guy. That guy is our special guest, Frederick Yane. Now we are over in the uh, performance section. Uh, first of all, I want you to introduce your band members. You gotta introduce your posse. Sure, sure. So you have Robbie McDonald on guitar right behind you. And here on my right, Daryl Hunt on keys. Hey, Daryl. Hey. Dennis Turner on bass. And the one and only, Chris Bynum on drums. One and only, one and only. <laughs> All right, so uh, before we get started on this, uh, this number, uh, tell us about uh, some of the other performers that you've, uh, that you've traveled with, that you've performed with. Oh my gosh, uh, well, we just did a, an amazing tour with, uh, with Dave Chappelle. We did some juke joints around the world and uh, we had De La Soul sitting with us. We had Ed Sheeran uh, sitting with us and uh, also Mos Def. As a matter of fact, I performed with um, Ed Sheeran at the Verizon Center when he came to DC uh, maybe a few, a couple of months ago. Um, and you know, and the list keeps going. Um, I worked with uh, the Jonas Brothers, uh, Justin Bieber, um, and hopefully more and more and more people. <laughs> now, we talked about how hard you play. Now, you really play hard, so hard that you've gone through several uh, different harmonicas. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's not uncommon to see me uh, flip so harmonicas during a performance because uh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get what I want to hear out of them and sometimes it takes a lot of, lot of pressure on those little things. So yeah, I do, I do break them quite often. And you've also traveled uh, with your, your wife, uh, who's your manager as well. That's right. She travels with me as much as we can. Yeah, it's a wonderful experience. Yeah. <laughs> and I was commenting on, on your outfits. You, you must travel and pick up the latest fashions in Paris and you're... Well, don't, don't forget I'm French. I have to make sure I stay true to our legend. <laughs> uh, now, the last time you were on our program, we talked about your harmonica, that you used a special type, that a lot of people don't use that particular harmonica. Tell us about the instrument. So I use the uh, the diatonic harmonica. It's commonly called the blues harp, and that on, that, that harmonica only has 90 notes on three octaves. So, in other words, it's very limited. But what I do with it, I expand the way uh, the harmonica sounds, and I 
double the, the amount of notes, basically, that comes naturally on the instrument. And only you can do, right? Well, there's a few of us who can do it, but I, I do it my way. How's that? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I'm going to leave you to do your thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Frederick Yanné. <laughs> There's plenty more ahead when we come back. Washington Full Circle. We'll be right back after this.
Welcome back to Washington Full Circle. We're here with Frederick Yanné. Now, one thing I wanted to ask you, you do something that's very unusual. You, at least you did it with one of your albums. You invited the public to have a part in how it was uh, reproduced. Is that it? Tell us about it. That's right. The album is called Read My Lips, and uh, I like to call it a reality CD because we're sharing the creative process of putting an album together with the audience. So um, um, basically people get the same songs at several steps of evolution of the, um, of the production, and then if they want to weigh in, you know, we take their, their, their suggestion into consideration. And you re-released? It's about to come out. So look for it, go to the website, fredjane.com. You can subscribe to the newsletter, and as soon as it's ready, we'll let everybody know. And something I saw on your website is people mimicking your photograph with the harmonica over one eye. How did all of that start? Well, you know, again, it's about showing the vision of an artist through his instrument. Uh, you know, it can, be, it can be anything. It can be a camera. It can be a microphone, <laughs> for that matter. So, yeah, people have started to uh, join, join the movement Excellent. of uh, expanding the way they think through, uh, through an instrument. Well, now for one last musical treat before you go. Frederick Garnier will take us out with this next selection. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Frederick Garnier.